Many law enforcement agencies across the state require their officers to wear body vests at all time, but here on the Sun Coast, a few local agencies do not have mandatory wear policies. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo looked into the best procedures to protect their officers. Dwayne? Well, Scott, there are actually a rising number of agencies that are making it mandatory for their officers to wear body armor. But as you mentioned, many have opted out the mandatory policy, and for good reason. With heightened violence against law enforcement of late, many agencies are looking to protect their officers. And it makes sense that a lot of agencies would be reviewing their policies and discussing whether or not they want to move forward with a requirement to wear body, body uh, armor. Kevin Angel consults with law enforcement agencies around the country regarding safety. He cites Florida weather as a reason why some agencies are not making body armor mandatory. As our temperature cracks 100 degrees, they're tough to wear, especially outside the vehicle doing anything like directing traffic in the middle of the daytime. Some of the physiological effects of wearing body armor, you know, the heat, uh, they, they weigh a lot. And in the day-to-day -day operations of a Sarasota County Sheriff's deputy, they are not mandated to wear body armor. According to Captain John Walsh, the agency does provide vests to their officers, but they can wear it voluntarily. I would like to think that uh, most of our law enforcement personnel out on the street today are, are wearing it. It's become uh, more of a uh, cultural thing now. Uh, I don't leave my house without it. And although this ballistic vest is not mandatory, it's required for each deputy to have one in their vehicle. In their car, readily accessible, or if there's an event like a SWAT uh, call out or a search warrant, you, you then must wear. The Punta Gorda police has a policy similar to the Sarasota Sheriff's. According to Lieutenant Katie Heck, they recently readdressed the issue and opted to keep it the same. Officers are encouraged to wear the armor at all times and must wear the suit in high risk situations. And according to Walsh, the suits have a benefit outside of saving a life during a shooting. If you get into a, you know, some kind of an altercation during an arrest, and you hit the ground. There are cases of, you know, vests saving, you know, cops' lives in car accidents. Now, both the Sarasota Sheriff's and the Punta Gorda Police have no plans on making these suits mandatory anytime soon.